what's up my viewers and subscribers welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel and let me get into the first thing my people so more and share and update on the beachy stout case because a long time we not hear nothing about the case right but them did have a case during the case about evidence where them have for either dash with the evidence or um use the evidence against beachy stout you see me i say so right now me i'm gonna share with you the court proceedings um monday after a month long of via there me don't know if me i call it the right name that mean the court the um trial within the trial in the murder trial of everton beachy stout mcdonald and his co-accused oscar barnes resume in the presence of a seven member jury on monday in the home circuit court in kingston with a detective constable outlining steps he took to secure a cell phone which allegedly contained call recordings but which he failed to mention in his first statement the cop admitted in court to having recorded a second statement in 2023 three years after his first statement in which he mentioned the phone the void there a trial within a trial was conducted to determine whether the call recordings should be admitted as evidence in the matter without the presence of the jury it was ruled that the recording would be at accepted despite requests from the defense attorneys representing beachy stout to have them thrown out the call recordings are said to be of 120 conversations between beachy stout and danvalin bubbler minot minot is currently serving a 19 and 10 month prison sentence for being the contractor in the murder of beachy stout's second wife tonya mcdonald minot confessed to his role in the july 20 2020 murder and agreed to become crown witness and give evidence against beachy stout and barnes according to minot beachy stout promised him three million dollars if he could stab tony at to death but because he couldn't do it he subcontracted the job to barnes who he claimed he first met on a beach in Montreal, portland one day Following the murder, after failed attempts to collect money from Beachy Stout, Minot claimed that he secretly recorded about 120 phone calls he allegedly had with the Portland businessman. Detectives, detective constable who had arrested Minot in 2020 told the court on Monday that he confiscated a cell phone from Minot when he arrested him at his home in Ranch Hill, Portland. He also told the court that he confiscated payment slips belonging to Minot's son, which had the name Mary Shine Enterprise printed on them. Along with the phone and the receipt, the detective constable said he also took away a pair of clerk shoes from Minot's home because it appeared to have blood splattered on it. However, in court on Monday, the detective constable said that he made no reference to the phone in his initial recorded statement on December, uh, sorry, on September 2020. The first time he made mention of a phone in any statement was um, in September 2023 when the trial had already started. That prompt attorney Courtney, a member of Beachy Stout defense team, to ask um during cross examination if the policeman knew what cooking up a case meant laughing at the question the policeman then asks the um attorney what he meant when he said cooking up a case the attorney did not expound the, det the detective said he wrote the second statement after being instructed by the lead investigator from the major investigation division to do so an arrival at minot's house on august 3 2020 i told him that i had a warrant to search his house under the firearms act he complied and agreed to the search he had a mobile phone in his possession and i took the phone 
he had it in his hand i placed the phone in the front of my ballistic vest it was a it was a samsung galaxy the search eventually in um concluded and nothing more of interest was found i handed over mr minot and the items to the lead detective the model number i gave you just now came from the back of the phone i had made a note of it on august 3rd 2020 in my notebook i wrote two statements in regard to the to this matter the first one was in september 2020 i had to write the second statement because i did not mention the model number of the phone in the first statement the lead investigator pointed it out to me so i wrote a second statement i handed over the phone sometime around midday and august 3 2020 and did not have anything further to do in relation to this matter the detective constable testified during the lawyer's cross exam examination the cop testified that he learned in october 2023 that he would be required to give evidence in the case and that he gave his second statement on september um just days after the start of the murder trial in 2023 i gave my first statement on september um it was type on one art one and a half legal size paper the time i wrote that statement was closer to the time of the search nowhere in the statement i did mention taking a phone from bubbler nowhere did i mention anything about a model number the first time i mentioned a phone was after i was told to come and give evidence nowhere in my first statement did i say i handed over a phone to the lead detective it wasn't important to record in the first statement i handed over a phone the only thing i mentioned in that in the statement was the pay slip i found at the house i didn't see anything significant about the phone i did not even record it in the station diary and i did not make an entry in the movement diary the detective constable said the murder trial has seen seven witnesses take the stand so far on monday a detective corporal also gave evidence in the case he was one of the policemen who arrested co-accused Barnes and played a major role in the investigation. He told the court that in June 2021, he was briefed by one of his superiors that, and instructed that he was to collect a package from the Cyber Forensic Crime Division. The package contained sensitive evidence related to the matter. When I collected the package, I made notes in my notebook as to what I collected. It was a digital forensic report as well as compact disc. It was two CDs. The package had a revenue number which I recorded in my notebook for the year 2021. I didn't have the book with me. It was at my office, the detective corporal said, indicating that the book is readily available but that he just didn't have it in his possession judge chester stamp adjourned the matter until this morning when the cop is expected to bring the notebook to court so data that upon that my people let me know what you think in the comment section because me know right now the lawyer for beach is thought them are gonna fight for really you know what i mean try to kick out the evidence but them already approve it you see me i say but them are gonna try for you know what i mean question the credibility of the policeman because him never record put the evidence per record when him just you know what i mean um confiscate the phone from uh minor you see me i say so we are going to see how that go alleged gunman shot dead while attempting to rob beryllium one one of several gunmen who allegedly attempt to rob a beryllium team near mandeville on monday night was shot dead a firearm was also reportedly seized following the incident preliminary reports indicate that a group of gunmen attacked the security team at a distribution center in gray ground shortly before 7 pm during a reported shootout one of the gunmen was shot and killed his accomplices managed to escape there is now a heavy security presence at the facility 
in August, a Berlium team was attacked in the vicinity of the Scotia Bank on Ward Avenue in Mandeville. Five persons were found with gunshot wounds and were taken to hospital to undergo treatment during that incident. A 25-year-old man has been slapped with several charges related to that incident. So right now, my people, are from yesterday this one, and me don't see no update as to who the person is we get shot and anything else. I just this alone me see from man until now. You see me I say? So just leave your comments in at the comment section. You see me I say? And the youth where them kill a St. James. The police them I say the MP, the MP for anchovy um for that year there. Right? I said, boy, him not think it was a robbery. Him same think the youth was targeted. You understand? So, this sad. So, this youth, him name Radino James. Him go at the bar to go shelter from the rain. You see me? And some man pull up and start calling up the place. Him did the open the pizza so him get everything and them say look like see him them go for right and the the, the female in at the bar she get can up also and the other is a person where they did it them take with themselves you see it so just leave your comment in at the comment section so we are gonna move on my people and a 69 year old man them say them find him with him head bashing see the whole of police have launched an investigation into the brutal murder of a 69-year-old Linford Robinson who was found dead with his H-E-A-D bash in on Monday. It is reported that residents of the Planters Hall district in St. Catherine became suspicious when Robinson, who is a shopkeeper, failed to report to work. A search was launched and Robinson's bloodied body was found lying at his doorstep. He was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigators theorized that Robinson met his demise between 8 p.m. on December 11 to 8 a.m. the next day. So R.I.P. to this man, condolences to his family. I wonder what could have gone for them to him like that you see me so we are gonna move on to over in a saint james my people right so them say the jamaica constabulary force say it has made significant breakthrough made a significant breakthrough in the murder investigation of a 34 year old vendor from burnet savannah in saint elizabeth the victim, Akeem Robinson, was killed in Montego Bay, St. James. Reports are that shortly after 2 p.m. On, on Thursday, November 23, Robinson was attacked while sitting along the Fustic Road in Montego Bay. A lone assailant alighted from a motorcycle, opened fire on Robinson, striking him in the head despite the efforts of passerby who rushed him to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Robinson succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead. His death came mere hours after a second state of public emergency was announced in St. James a bid to deal with the crime situation in the parish. The Montego Bay Criminal Investigation Branch, upon receiving the report of Robinson's attack, immediately initiated a comp comprehensive investigation utilizing cctv footage and community canvassing according to the police diligent investigative work led to the arrest of trice or tyrese hunter also known as bobby a 20 year old motorcycle mechanic from john's all st james on december 4 the cops said hunter was reportedly found in possession of the motorcycle used in the crime which has been seized following an interview with detectives hunter is said to have confessed to his involvement in the murder and was formally charged 
Additionally, the JCF is uh, actively seeking one Adino Burnett, also known as Dino, a 19-year-old unemployed individual from Cattelian Irwin St. James. It is reported that eight months ago, Burnett was arrested and charged for possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition at the time a loaded weapon was taken from his waistband he was however granted bail when he appeared in court but he failed to appear the, um, in the western regional gun court as required on december a bench warrant has since been issued for his arrest the police have named him as a person of interest in the case in the meantime the st james police are seeking to assure the public of its unwavering commitment to bringing all perpetrators of violent crimes to justice the force appeal to anyone with information about the whereabouts of andino burnett to contact the nearest police station or call crime stop so guys let me know what you think in the comment section like and subscribe